Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to this channel, guys. Girls. Glad you're here. Glad we can talk about VJ. Why? Because it's up. Fuck it up. That's why. <laughs> why else would we be covering it, guys? And notice I don't talk about every altcoin that's up. Um, this is the first time I brought up V Chain, but guys, I've known about V Chain for a while. I knew about knew about it when it was built on top of Ethereum. When I heard somebody talking about it at the gym back when I got into crypto, going on almost six years ago. So um, I'm not just on here talking about cryptocurrencies that are just you know the the hot flavor of the week or the the pump of the day. Now V Chain is up today. I think it's up like 40 percent. Grossel's coin is up 40. 50% as well. So you've been following this channel the last couple days. Um, you know, I've been pretty much spot on with these these prices and stuff going up. So, um, you know, just toot my own little horn there. But we are talking about these cryptocurrencies because the price is up. The price is up. Now, there are other cryptocurrencies that are up, but these have their own network. These have their own blockchain, guys. Vether, Vthor is the native token for V chain, so there's two different tokens on there. It's just like NEO and gas, guys, and surprisingly, gas cryptocurrency is up as well. So what we've been following on this channel here most recently is the fact that we see these similar cryptocurrencies that are, um, you know, the gas, the native gas token. You have to have these tokens to send the actual uh, native token on the blockchain. You actually have to have. Vthor to send V chain, and you have to have Neo to you have to have gas to send Neo, um, and these are both their gas is up, guys. So the gas on Neo is actually called gas, so we can just call it gas. And then we have Vthor, which I believe uh, drop it in the comment section. Let let us know, guys. I don't know a huge a huge amount on on V chain. I know it's trying to disrupt uh, supply chain. It's got its own blockchain, and it was launched on Ethereum back when I. Um, I know about it, but I don't know too detail about it. So go back and look. It might be flipped. VChain might be the token. Uh, Vthor might be the token, vice versa. But require, regardless, you have to have one to send the other. All right. So with Neo, you got to have gas token to send your Neo token, and vice versa. With VChain, you have to have Vthor to send your VChain token. Guys, drop it in the chat. Let us know if um, you know which is which. But um, you know, I'm just going to go on that. I don't. I don't really want this to be too much on on these um these what ifs you guys get it so you have to have one to send the other right so these are both up guys we got gas on neo we got vthor on vchain they're both up and we've been talking about these similarities like it do it it wouldn't matter to me if we don't if we didn't have any of these you know if we didn't have so many of these right in your face ironic uh incidences like we have today like we've you know and guys grossel coin multiple algorithms run run on the coin um it's mineable it's up as well today so we were following that and, you know, it's pretty cool to see this stuff, guys, because we're seeing, and we've been talking about this, it seems like every day now. We saw Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV up yesterday. So, I mean, like, what are we going to have next? Are we going to have, like, um, you know, all the coins that meant Tether up one day? Are we going to have, like, uh, you know, NFT, um, I don't want to say, you know, most, a lot, I feel like every coin has an NFT marketplace, but some of these that are more directed towards NFTs, like, I guess you could say Solana. Uh, with their open C, you know, platform or whatnot, or, um, you know, whatever coins there's, but if we see them jump all at one day, right? Like we see the, we see the soccer fan tokens jump at one time and then we see, you know, this. So we, we're, we're looking at all this stuff on this channel, guys, and we're breaking it down for you. Uh, we're taking just mental notes. We're just like, a, it's just like a Rolodex in my mind. I'm taking mental notes of this kind of stuff because this isn't stuff you're going to hear about on the news. Nobody's, nobody's connecting the dots here that both, both native uh, tokens on native blockchains are, um, yeah, are are both up today. I mean, we got gas up, we got we got Vthor up. We might see VChain and Neo up next week. You see what I'm saying? So um, you know, this is kind of what we're following, guys. We're following some of this alternative stuff uh, that you're not going to hear about. I don't want to come on here and tell you about SBF, uh, FTX 2.0. What, what would be the point, guys? FTX was up the other day. I think it was up today too. FTX token. So. Um, this guy could get off scot-free, guys. SBF could get off scot-free uh, simply because, I mean, this is like they're already trying to dump all their crypto. FTX is just, oh, we're going to just sell our crypto now. And, um, you know, would you be mad if they were just doing that with your tokens? Like, why don't we do some kind of fair token distribution? It's like the same shit we experienced with Mt. Gox. Oh, we're just going to sell it all and then we'll give everybody this and that. And it's like, dude, 
you guys can't just sell people shit. Like I would rather have my tokens rather than you trying to time the market on when you sell. So this is this this is this, the the dilemma with our current just monetary legal mumbo jumbo crap. And then we have this alternative thing, crypto. I would rather if if an exchange got hacked with my money, give me my fucking tokens. Just give me my you know if if the if the total amount was a you know give me my percentage based on what my token amount a would be you know instead they're like selling the tokens you know paying this percentage back to the people and all this stupid shit uh and like like what if bitcoin cash and bitcoin sv go up two three thousand dollars a token mount gox attorney well you just sold fucking the biggest gainer of you know whatever i mean it's 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 technically it wouldn't be the btc went up but i don't know exactly how they break it down guys so i mean i'm i just know that they don't do it in a fair token distribution i get get it if a company or a exchange was hacked uh you know you don't get all your you don't get all your money obviously but there could be a percentage breakdown equivalence factor uh and a very simple math formula that you could take the collaborative whole and then equally distribute it i mean there wasn't that many fucking coins i don't even think like yeah it's fucking btc and the forks that would be the only coin so my point is, guys, is it's a little bit different with FTX, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I, I don't want to sit here and speculate, even though that's pretty much all I do on this channel. What will happen to SBF? Because I'm telling you, guys, this guy could get off scot free. We I mean, we just don't know. We don't know what what is happening behind closed doors, uh, because we're not in their we're not in their club. And, uh, you know, all we can do is buy cryptocurrency. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode where we talked about just the kind of ironic nature of how these crypto coins pump anywhere from soccer coins to uh, native blockchain. Uh, I'm going to call them transport tokens because, I mean, that's essentially what gas and Vthor are. I mean, you got to have it to send the native token, VeChain and NEO. So transport tokens, guys. <laughs> I'm coining that word. So that's what we talked about, guys, just some of the, the bogus stuff, how these exchanges redistribute funds to customers and how they're just basically allowed to sell stuff at will. And, um, you know, it's not anymore. It's, it's just as unfair as the actual exchange getting hacked or the whole shady stuff behind the exchange. It's like shady exchange gets wrecked and then the, the government and the judges and everything else just, you know, makes it 10 times worse, guys. So that's what we're covering on this channel, guys. So we'll catch you in the next episode. And catch you in the next episode.